Darth Kermit here with a quick video on how to use my Challenge Pit Guild Readiness Tool and Phase Planner. In just a moment, I'll go over what it does and how to use it. But first, if you like my videos, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and support me on Patreon if you think I deserve it. With that out of the way, let's do a quick overview of the tool. It's a Google Sheet that I've created that uses Pop Goes the Wiz's Core Sheet to auto-populate your guild's roster and show you how ready your guild is for each phase of the Challenge Tier Pit Raid. It also has a planning tab where you can plan out which players will use which teams for each phase. And then it has phase tracking tabs to track each phase as you go and make sure you have enough projected and actual damage to complete each phase. You can find a link to this tool on my Discord server, link in the description, and I've recently added a new benefit to most of my Patreon tiers where I will set up and customize the tool for your guild if you need something a little more custom. So how to use it? First, go to File, Make a Copy, name it whatever you wish, and hit OK. Now you will have a copy of the Readiness Guide and Phase Planner on your own personal Google Drive. Next, put your Guild ID into the little white box and then click the Darth Kermit icon next to it to run the script. You can find your guild ID by going to your guild's swgoh.gg guild profile page and looking for the one to six digit number in the URL. In order to get the data from swgoh.gg, this sheet has to run a script, so Google will ask you to authorize the sheet to run scripts. Click continue, then choose your account, then click advanced, then click go to swgoh sheets core, then click Allow. Now let the script run for a few minutes and come back. Now that the script is done, let's go check the Guild Readiness tab. Here you'll see which top teams your guild members have and a general estimate of readiness for each phase based on each player's top team in each phase. Next is the Planifier tab. Here you can plan out each phase and it will auto-populate onto the individual phase tracking tabs. Now that we have our plan, we'll hop over to the Phase 1 tab so you can see how the phase trackers work. Up at the top, you have a schedule where you can post the next schedule, date and time for the phase. Down below that, you will see the players and teams that you assigned on the Planifier tab. You can take attendance by clicking the checkboxes under Participating, and it will automatically fill in the Projected column. And this will total up at the top and will show you what your current projected minimum for the phase is. And when this hits 110%, you know you're ready to start the phase. Then, once you've actually started the raid, you can use the percent actual column to track the damage that your guild members are reporting, and then your total progress will be shown under current phase progress up at the top. And once this hits 110%, you know that you can start telling your guild members to go ahead and post their damage. Now for those advanced users out there, you can adjust the teams however you wish. Enable and disable teams for each phase, add or remove teams, or change minimum damage percentage. Do note that if you change the teams listed on this tab, it will break the Guild Readiness tab and the Conditional Formatting on the Planifier tab. You can easily turn off Conditional Formatting if it bothers you, or just select teams even if they're grayed out. And that's how to use my Guild Readiness tool. I hope you found it all helpful, and if you like my videos, please remember to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below, hit that notification bell, and support me on Patreon if you think I deserve it. Till next time. I find your lack of rainbow connection disturbing. <laughs>